Hi, Ray Baker, Jim, with the Wounded Artist Project again. And today we're talking with Tom Mahaney. Tom, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure, Ray. Tom is an artist who works in oils and other media, I guess, and a veteran of the 101st Airborne in Vietnam. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, art, uh, but also about one of your projects. Uh, Tom is involved in a, a nonprofit of himself to, uh, to recognize PTSD. But uh, I, I think our viewers would also like to know a little bit about your background. And uh, you were mentioning before we started rolling the camera uh, how you actually started your bit of artwork. Yeah, when I was a boy. When you were a, a, a youngster, yeah. Okay. Well, when you know, I think it was about first grade, I used to. Uh, I noticed that that my mother's uh, books or, uh, that she kept in her sewing room. They had this really nice. Uh, blank sheet of paper in the front and the back they call cover sheet. And I would uh, actually take one of my father's razor blades out of the medicine cabinet and I would go into my mother's sewing room and, and, and cut those pages out of her books. And then I would go into my father's roll top desk and get his, his, uh, his mechanical pencils, which none of this I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> anyway, my mother caught me one day, but instead of Instead of blowing me into the old man, she went and got me some art supplies. And the rest right. is history. You know, right. Start drawing and that kind of thing. Right. Uh, yeah. I love your shirt, by the way. It's a nice artist shirt there. Well, this is a functional shirt. Right. Form follows function. That's right. right. Um, we're talking here to Tom today. Uh, we, we start our kits uh, with all of you in terms of pencils and graphite and that type of charcoal and, and maybe crayon. But uh, Tom is going to be where we would like you all to wind up some days, either working with paintbrushes or airbrushes or computer systems or, again, back to pencil and paper. And, uh, Tom, you mentioned uh, there was a time when you were at West Point. You actually did some artwork there. Uh, yeah, I used, to paint, uh, I used to paint spirit banners for football games. Oh, okay. I used to hang them from the, uh, the poop deck in, uh, in the mess hall. Oh, okay. You know, they'd be up for a week before the, before the football game. Uh-huh. And uh, I actually did one banner one time. It was uh, it was 30 by 30 feet, and they used to stretch it above the uh, stretch it out above the Corps of Cadets at the Army Navy games. Really? It was a beat Navy. Uh, oh, okay. Well, that's good. Uh, beat Navy's a big thing. At, oh yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, me personally, I'm not really into sports, and the only college game I really followed during the year is Army versus Navy. Yeah. We've taken it on the chin the last bunch of years, but uh, anyway. Uh, so. Uh, you've done a lot of artwork in the past. You work right now. Uh, uh, how would you best describe your type of your technique uh, in terms of it's, it's, it's an, uh, an impressionist type work? Yeah, you know, it's. I hate to put things in, uh, in boxes like that. Okay. But you could call it impressionism. Mm -hmm. And you could call it landscape. Mm -hmm. okay. Other than that, just be trying to describe it, but you know, Claude Monet used to say, if you have to ask me what my work is about, you're not looking at my work. <laughs> oh, really? yeah. I had heard that. Yeah, all right. All right, so and that's a, that's I'd rather have you look at it. But, you know, it's something that I think I would want you to feel it more than think about it. And it, that's kind of, uh, feeling is kind of leads us into this, uh, this, uh, Attitude of uh, invisible wounds, too. Invisible wounds, right. right. Your project that you're working yeah, with. It's more of emotional, neurological. And uh, I think that there is a, uh, there's a distinction that, that needs to be either made or unmade. I'm not sure which one it is. But something has to be straightened out, and something has to be done for these individuals with invisible wounds that, that uh, have been isolated, they've been left behind, right. which leads to depression, which leads to more depression, and there is more isolation and leads to suicide. And suicide is a real problem. Now you're talking about uh, troops coming back with PTSD and your nonprofit and, and traumatic brain and, injury. And TBI. Okay. Right. And, uh, but your work right now is to recognize to get these troops recognized for 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 their uh, for their valor, 
okay. for their honor. This is a, uh, it's no longer a, uh, an imaginary uh, uh, situation. Right. All right. The PTSD is real. Now you mentioned earlier that uh, some of the things that happen with uh, PTSD is uh, the, the mind plays such tricks on you that uh, PTSD is, I can't remember how you described it, PTSD are things that right. actually right. rattled your well, brain. Well, they, they rattle the neurological system, uh, uh, and they, they affect mostly the, the hypothalamus uh, 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 gland. Right. All right. Okay. The post, I mean, the, the traumatic brain injury shakes the entire uh, brain inside the skull, and the post TBI is you can't remember enough. PTSD, you remember too much. Okay. All right. And but they both they both interfere with functioning as a normal human being. I think that they didn't. Within the next five years, you're going to see uh, them identify a biomarker. All right. There's already there's work being done at the University of Minnesota on that right now, but it's in its it's in its developmental stage where they can identify the part of the brain, mm -hmm. not the mind, right. the brain, mm -hmm. physical, okay. okay? They can identify that part that's been, in, that's been injured. Now, they're not ready to bring this to, uh, to, to the forefront of the, of the medical world at this point, right. because they want to be sure that they're right. But, uh, but they, they're working on it, and I think it's only a matter of time that there is physical evidence shown, a biomarker identified mm -hmm. that that certifies post-traumatic stress disorder. All right. Okay. Now, traumatic brain injury can, can be certified now through uh, through. Uh, Scanning and well, yeah, through, I'm trying to think of the word. It's, it's MRI, right? All right. Yeah. MRI can identify TBI. Mm -hmm. and give that out. Mm -hmm. So, and the work of your organization is to you're you're actually contacting uh, different uh, organizations like American the Vets, the Disabled Vets, the American Legion. Mm -hmm. They, uh, uh, I actually got a very nice letter back from uh, from the. Uh, Society of Congressional Medal of Honor winners. Really? Right. I got a letter from the president of that society oh. saying that that he was uh, he stopped short of uh, sending me a letter of endorsement. Right. He wished me well, but he also said I'm too busy to help. Okay. okay. Now that's a lot better answer than I get from a lot of these organizations. Right. Well, it's noble work that you're doing. It's it's uh, we're. We're here ourselves to encourage people to draw and use art to overcome some of the difficult situations they, are, they find themselves in. And uh, we see that what you're trying to do is actually get them recognition to uh, get others to recognize that this is a problem and, you know, to help them right. come they, together. And, what you're doing is, is a valid uh, uh, therapy, all right, and a therapy that can lead to Something that's that's uh, worthy, uh, not worthy, but uh, marketable. <laughs> well, marketable and 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 so we're not trying to think of uh, the gratification and, and, and fulfillment. And I'm going to develop a skill that that otherwise wouldn't have been. Developed, right? In hopes that it's going to be uh, helpful to the individual. Right. Right. Yeah. And, and what you're trying to do is, of course, get others to recognize the issues that our wounded are, are going to be seeing or they experience right now, because uh, they they do uh, they do have records now that army suicides as of 2010. We're filming right now in September here of 2010. Uh, army suicides are up.
dramatically. Well, they keep going up. They keep going now up. They've, they've surpassed the the, uh, the, national the, well, the national average, right? And and again, this is only the, the, there are no records on veterans. This is only uh, active duty. Oh, we're talking about. Right. It's not people that are out of the military, all right? These are the worst uh, areas of, or the worst groups of severely isolated individuals who are most likely to commit suicide, right? They're the ones who we're giving the least help to. They should be getting the most help, not the least help. We're actually leaving them behind, which is, goes against all military uh, uh, codes. The military code is, is one of the largest part of that is no one left behind. Well, we're leaving them behind. We should be bringing them closer to us, closer into the bosom, not pushing them away. Okay, and, and your efforts right now are you you are quite an artist. This is a piece from, you said, 1973? Yes. Yeah, uh, very nice. So, I, some of your work is already, we're, we're here at a, uh, a an antique store in Royal Oak just off of Main Street. Uh, there's a lot of traffic going on, some birds chirping up there, uh, other noise going on in the background, but uh, it's important enough to talk to Tom to get past that a little bit. Uh, we're also going to do uh, some shots of Tom's work, but you're selling artwork and Trying to don't get donations like well, whatever whatever I sell in this little uh, stall that I have, or whatever you want to call it. And you actually have the, a tent up yeah, here. Right. All the proceeds go to Stop the Lost Foundation, mm -hmm. and and the biggest thing that Stop the Lost Foundation is working on right now is uh, organizing and and uh, planning a demonstration of what they call a special event on the Washington Mall next June 27th. 2011. 2011. Right. Which will be the first anniversary of the day that Congress passed a resolution making that day, June 27th, a day of uh, national recognition for post-traumatic stress disorder. Right. All right. So I like to call it uh, National American Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder Day, mm -hmm. Awareness Day, I'm sorry, Awareness Day. Right. Put that all together, you got a, an acronym that, that's, that's spelled NAPSTAD. 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 Okay. So if you hear NAPSTAD in the future, you can look at that as Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder Day. Right. Okay. Well, that's and, a noble effort. And hopefully we're going to get, we're going to get some attention like, uh, like, uh, What's the guy's name again, Beck? Glenn Beck? Glenn Beck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Glenn okay. Beck, and if he can have a rally with uh, half a million people to, uh, yeah. or you so know, to, uh, to dump some more tea in the uh, ocean, right? okay, then we sh should be able to get some people together to uh, honor those individuals with invisible wounds right. and do something about it. Damn straight. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I agree. So, we should see you all there in uh, Washington next uh, June 27, 2011. It's a Monday. It's a Monday. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Tom, um, I think we kind of wrapped up here. Uh, I just wanted to be able to have our, our viewers, uh, those uh, that tune into the, the uh, YouTube channel, just for some uh, uh, some of our other videos to, you know, what careers might be out there for them as they develop their artwork skills, art skills. But I also thought it important to talk to Tom here to get uh, the work of this man uh, who is who's is doing this to try and help the PTSD problem and TB. Tom, thank you very much. Welcome home again for your service in Vietnam with the 101st Airborne. Thank you. And uh, it was a pleasure talking to you, and I hope uh, I wish you well and all of what you're doing too. Stay tuned. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Thank you very right. much. Okay. Thank you.